In this video, we will learn how we can easily install NumPy with PyCharm. For that, first we will install Python and pip. Pip is used to download, install and manage Python library and packages. After that, we will install PyCharm. After connecting both Python and PyCharm, we will see how we can install NumPy in PyCharm itself. Since we are using PyCharm community version, free version, so we will be working on it. Let's start. We will download and install the current Python version. At first, go to the web browser. On Google type Python and press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. Click on it, python.org. Here is the official website. Now keep the mouse cursor on downloads. Now you can see the current version Python 3.12.0 is visible. Click on it to download. It will download. It's only 25 MB download completed. Now right click and click on open to start installing Python. We clicked on the exe file. Minimize. Now the setup started. Here and at first select add python.exe to path. Now click customize installation. This shows what we are installing. It will install pip also. Pip is used to download, install and manage python packages. It will also install IDLE. IDLE is an ID to run python programs. Now click next. Advanced option. It will install python 3.12 for all users. It will also set the environment variables. Okay. And uh, Python will get installed in the following location under program files. Keep it a default. You can change it from here by clicking browse. But keep it as it is. No problem. Click install. Now the installation started. Guys, we have successfully installed Python. Click close. Now let us verify the installation. Go to start, type cmd. Click open to open the command prompt. Here in type the command python space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. This shows that we successfully installed Python. Guys, we successfully installed the current Python version. Now we will install PyCharm. For that, uh, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use uh, any web browser. Here in type PyCharm and press enter. On pressing enter, the PyCharm is visible. It is owned by JetBrains. Click on it. Now we have reached the official website here. Now you can directly click download here or you can also click download. Let's click. Here and you can see PyCharm professional is visible which is uh, for a 30 day trial, then you need to pay. But we are going for the free version. That is the community. And uh, here it is. You can download it from here. It is freely available and open source. So you can use it. EXE file download. Click on it. Now the download will begin. Here it is. The download started. It's only 418 MB. Let's wait. We have downloaded it. The EXE file for PyCharm. Community version, free version. Right click and click open to begin the installation. Minimize. The installation started. Click next. Now it is asking wherein PyCharm will get installed. It will get installed in the following location. Keep it as it is. And it will take 1.5 GB. Click next. Desktop shortcut. Yes, we can create. Update context menu. You can add a folder to project so that you can directly so that you can open any folder as project. Rest keep as it is and click next. Start menu folder. Yes, click install. And now the setup will begin. The desktop shortcut also got created. Now let's wait for this to complete. We have completed the PyCharm setup. I can also select run PyCharm community edition and click finish so that it begins but I'll only click finish 
So in this way we can install PyCharm. Now let us open PyCharm and connect Python with PyCharm. You can also go to start and type PyCharm instead of going for the shortcut. Here it is. Community edition, click open. Now PyCharm will open for the first time. Here in the terms are visible. I confirm. Click continue. Data sharing. PyCharm opened for the first time. You can go to customize and here in select, let's say light theme or dark theme. I'll go for light theme. And rest keep as it is. Go to projects, click new project. Here you can see our project will get saved here. If you want to change the name of the project, you can change from here. Let's say I'll name it Amit project. Okay. Now you need to set the environment. It will go for the virtual environment, a new environment, which is fine. The base interpreter you need to set, it is only showing Python 3.9 and 3.10. Click on the three dots. Program files, wherein we install Python. 3.12, click on it. Select python.exe and click OK. Here it is, we have set Python 3.12 now. You can see, we have set it. We have connected our Python with PyCharm. Okay, remove this because we are creating a sample program. Click create. Okay, here is our project. I clicked here for the menus. Okay, now this is our project. This is our environment. Now we need to add a new Python file to run our first Python program. I will right click on Amit project. Click new and here in select Python file directly. It will automatically go for .py extension. Here in add the name of your Python file and and press enter. It will create demo.py. Here it is. Now you can directly run your first project. Let's say I'll just print something. Okay, I'll go for file save all. Right click and uh, click run demo. Here it is. Studiopedia is visible. Okay, that means we successfully printed using the print method in uh, Python. Here it is, Studiopedia. You can also run using run here, click uh, run demo or you can use shift F10 or alt plus shift plus F10. Okay, you can also increase the font by going to file, settings. Here in appearance is visible, go for editor and click font. Here in the font is only 13. Let me take it to 18 and click OK. Click apply then OK. Now the font will increase. Here it is. Even the output font is also 18 and the editor font also. With that you can check the location also. Here it is. See users Amit underscore PyCharm projects. See users Amit underscore that is a username. Here it is PyCharm project. Projects Amit project. Here is a demo.py file. With that you can also go to the file option and click settings. Okay and uh, select the project and the interpreter to verify again that you have set 3.12 or not for our project and yes we have set the same 3.12 for our project. So guys we successfully installed uh, Python, Pip and PyCharm. Now we need to install NumPy in it. Okay for that you need to open PyCharm. We just ran a sample program in Python. Go to file. Click on settings. Now after clicking settings you need to go to your project here. Here in go to Python interpreter. Here in you can see we have pip installed. Okay. Which is fine. But we need to install the numpy library.
okay by clicking plus here we'll be able to see all the libraries and packages available i clicked on plus and all the packages and libraries are visible i'll type numpy and i'll press enter after that you can see our numpy is visible we just need to click install package here i'll click install package now you can see it is installing Here and package numpy installed successfully. Okay. Click close. Now here and you can see package numpy installed successfully. We have installed it. So this is how you can install a numpy package. That's it. Now we can click OK. So in this way, guys, we can easily install numpy library on PyCharm.